Hello and welcome to another piece of supplemental content for the F*** Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me as always, Andrew Pant and Gavin Free. Somewhere like- somewhere in the back, uh, Eric and, and Nick, I believe, are hanging out. And uh, I'm excited about this one, uh, fellas, because this, this recording is uh, nine, approximately nine months in the making, I would say. <laughs> somewhere around there. I'd love to know how many times we rescheduled this. Uh, at least six. A- Eric, how many times have we rescheduled this? Uh, yeah, I think everyone got at least two in where we rescheduled it. Uh, Gavin might only be responsible for one, but I don't remember. But it, it No, has I'm one. You, you, I was going to be quiet. I only rescheduled once. I'm not giving Gavin the one. Okay, that's he good. not have that. That's good. He was he was going to be quiet. Uh, <laughs> well, so, I'm, I'm going to be honest and say I'm, I'm two or three, and I don't feel like I was the worst offender. I think I'm two. Yeah. Reg- At least six, reg- based off that. Regardless, uh, I will say this. We recorded the latest episode of uh, <laughs> Face yesterday. I believe it was 127. And after it, we realized this was on the calendar. And everybody wanted to record the monkey movie today, except for Andrew. So we didn't let him reschedule it, but he did try. He did try yesterday to say, well, let's keep the recording slot, but record more Face instead. I suspect... That's because the 98% that he said he had, uh, that he was done on the presentation was more like 8%. And now that you're yawning, it makes me think you pulled an all-nighter. No, I, it was done by the time that happened. Sorry I want this show to release every single week it's supposed to. And Gavin previously said, we better be ready for the, by the end of October because he's out all of November. Which isn't the case. <laughs> it's not the so case. It's at not all. my fault. It's not my fault that I was just going based off of what I was told, and I was concerned about the listeners being able to get the show. I apologize for prioritizing their entertainment. You're freaking doc, dude. You've got like <laughs> four incompatible apps. You got two question marks. It's the, the anxiety. The doc is gonna be great. The doc it's, is fantastic. I would hate to see what your desktop looks like. Oh, you want to well, see? I think we've seen that before. <laughs> you want to see what it looks like right now? Yeah. What, 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 what do I got? Minimize this, please. Yeah, we're going <laughs> dropping out of that, dropping out of that. Oh, that's not dropping terrible. That. No, it's that's not pretty. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. It. Yeah, it's that's not that a picture bad. of it's... your fingers? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, that was uh, me complaining about a break shit and what the feed was for me and what my perspective uh, was. So uh, I was trying to be like, this is, this is, is the quality a- I had. Is that a picture of Vancouver Island where you live? No, I don't know what that is. It's just the standard Mac. Thing. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Where do I, so where do uh, now that we're uh, we an indeterminate amount of time it's into the supplemental good. content, I realize we haven't said what it is. Uh, what we're going to be doing is this is going to be content in two parts. We've been talking about watching the movie MVP2 for a very <laughs> long time. We're finally going to do it. It's about a monkey. That's about as much as we know. Highly influential to Andrew as a child. Uh, but before we wanted to watch MVP2, Gavin and I felt like we needed a primer on MVP1 because we don't want to be lost in the weeds uh, trying to catch up on old storylines. So, Andrew, the first piece of this content, <laughs> Andrew's going to give us his recitation, his distilled uh, summary of what MVP1 was all about. Andrew? Well, this is, yeah, this is an important lead in. The doc has been made. I'm excited to share this with you. This is going to just go over kind of the broad strokes of the movie. Because I realized while rewatching this to gather these images, uh, the second movie has little to nothing to do with the first movie. <laughs> so they we don't, don't need this? <laughs> no, it's completely pointless. You're really gaining no additional information <laughs> from this experience. The movie ends in a completely different spot than the, the, the second one begins. We get right into the middle of the action. So would you say MVP 2 is more of like a soft reboot, kind of like Evil Dead to Evil Dead 2 kind of thing? I would say so, but I haven't watched MVP 2 since I was probably 10, and I'm terrified that it's going to be a boring, terrible movie and that this is just all around. Will any of this be presented in Dubox? Uh, No, I should have. I should have went through. Yeah, that's on me. That's my failing. No worries. No worries. Yeah, that's on me. So should we begin this yeah, presentation please. of MVP? I believe this movie came out in 98. That could be wrong. Could be I, opening. I'm sorry. Real quick. If you're listening to this and you want to see Andrew's slideshow, go to the face YouTube in the video version of this supplemental piece of content will be Andrew's full slideshow. Just wanted to let everyone know what was going on. Uh, <laughs> looks like it came, looks like a movie came out in 2000, by the way. Okay. 2000. Great. If you guys have any questions or want to interject, <laughs> feel free interrupt at any time. But we shall begin with MVP, Most Valuable Primate, a presentation (laughs) by me, Andrew Panton. On to slide number two. (laughs) 
Oh, but before that, banana wipe! Look at all the bananas! Bananas coming what? down! This bananas is falling! So we got the banana wipe! Oh, <laughs> the bananas ready right bananas! Look out! Oh, it's coming through! It's coming through with the bananas! You down. fucking you <laughs> salad wipe. cream that banana wipe banana so wipe. goddamn hard! No, the tech uh. wasn't there. I was limited with what could be done. That's the best banana <laughs> wipe we got. But here, we begin the motion picture with Jack. It's the story of Jack, and you may be wondering, <laughs> is it minor league fan Jack? <laughs> no, it's not. Is it famous Jack Blackjack? <laughs> no, it's not him either. Maybe it's Jack Johnson who did make a monkey movie, but it's not this monkey movie. Because this story is about Jack, this monkey. That's Jack. Oh, he sleeps in a college. Oh, he lays in bed. Is that he's true? very comfortable. Is he uh, a, no, it's a shadow. We can't, is he a chimpanzee? He's a chimpanzee. Yeah, we're not going to judge about the drool. And you may be wondering, what does Jack like? Jack likes... <laughs> 90s decor you can see a lot of godzilla in there it was probably oh. around the time that came out jack also really likes <laughs> hockey he's a big hockey guy it's in his room oh. he's got gretzky there he the also enjoys one. coffee you see jack mug and uh, his best friend doctor well not his best friend but his co-worker dr kendall <laughs> his co-worker. jack jack also really is a big <laughs> Air drying guy like Jeff. You have oh, a lot in common. Jeff. He loves to air dry. <laughs> He's super into it. Jack loves being. Oh, I forgot. This is a whole slide. My apologies. Other notable actors Dave Thomas. <laughs> you may be thinking, wow, from Wendy's? Nah, different Dave Thomas. Not related in any way. Next slide. You can't even show a picture of him. Jack this. loves college. He's a, so he's there. It's like they study him. They do research. He's a big fan <laughs> of college, mainly because his best friend Darren's there. He loves Darren. Darren is a janitor at the school. Uh, they're, they're best buds. They hang out. And that's his coworker, Dr. Kendall, who you previously saw a mug for. The he's mug like guy. This, yeah. Yeah. He's like a, a researcher who uh, <laughs> does like this study with Jack showing how intelligent he is. And they do it in front of kids. This whole thing. We should make Dr. Kindle mugs we can can do (laughs) for. Jack also super into rollerblading. Loves to help Darren clean up the school. They ride around and uh, they do classes. The kids love them. They they do all sorts of things. Um, But here's Dr. Kendall at home. This is so they have their big class. And then Dr. Kendall's at home because this is Jack's final year at the school. He's going to arrange to send Jack back to his reserve, which is, I believe, called El Simeon. And he's reminiscing about the past. But then tragedy, tragedy strikes. Dr. Kendall spills his milk. (laughs) It falls. It hits the floor. It's tragic. Also, he is dead. Dr. Kendall has died. (laughs) He's no longer with us. (laughs) We'll have to make an in memoriam mug. (laughs) And the saddest part of all of this, nobody told Jack. He showed up to work. He's like, what? Where's Dr. Kendall? He's really sad. Because Dr. Kendall is now dead. Oh, no, bad guys. The bad guy showed up. That's the head of the school. He's a bad guy. He's a British accent. You don't really learn all that much about him. He's got a white suit. You can tell he's a bad guy. They're there to take Jack away. They're like, what are we going to do with Jack now that he's gone? And he's like, I'm going to sell Jack to a hepatitis research facility. And they'll test on Jack. But Darren's here to save the day. The oh, janitor. shit. I th- <laughs> clicked too, too quick. That was a double click. The janitor, like fucking Sam Fisher, sneaks by, <laughs> holds the wall, listens in, and he's like, we're going to sell him to hepatitis. And then that's his face when he's like, oh, no, hepatitis is bad, Jack. Are we meant to believe the guy in the white suit can't see that mop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> So then Darren is like, we got to get you the fuck out of here, Jack. So he throws Jack in a big bag and they go to the train station. And he's like, be quiet, Jack. I'm putting you on this train back to your home. So then he throws Jack on the train and Jack pokes his head out just to see what's up. Because he's heading back to the El Simeon Reserve, which is right there. You see that? El Simeon. That's where he's from. That's where his family is. That's, That's where he's trying to go to. Go here, Jack. El Simeon. Meanwhile, in Nelson, Canada, we are introduced to Stephen and his sister, Tara. Stephen is a big hockey guy. He's from California. They just moved to Nelson. They've got a team in Nelson, Canada called the Nuggets, which uh, (laughs) Blue from Old School is their biggest fan. He loves them. He's a big, big Nuggets guy, loves the team. 
Steven, being this hot import from California, you mix the nuggets and the potential of Steven as an elite hockey player, and you get eggs because they suck. They're the worst team in the league. They get thrown <laughs> eggs at. Everything's bad. They're a terrible team. They're, they're just awful in every way. So they suck. But Steven's on the nuggets. But uh-oh, there's another issue. That's not your stop, Jack. He slept through the train. He missed his stop. He's now in Nelson, Canada, and he's walking around. He's just trying to figure things out a little bit. Uh, he moves through. He doesn't know where to go, but that treehouse sure looks cozy. Finds Why didn't a tree house. Darren go with him? Uh, because he has to continue working. He has a real job. He works at the school. He okay. just didn't want Jack to be sold and potentially killed in a research project. Uh, but the treehouse looks cozy. He climbs up it. He makes his home. He's just living his life. He's cozy. Everything is great. And maybe the best thing about Nelson is that the kids have bananas. It's a great place to live. Jack is really, really enjoying the new environment. So he reaches. He grabs the banana. This, that's Tara's banana. Well, they're watching Steven uh, play hockey. And, uh, you know, first meetings are often tricky. So she notices the banana move. She's like, what's going on with this banana? Jack's like, hey, what's up? My name's Jack. I like hockey and 90s decor. And she does not take this well. <laughs> she is very alarmed by seeing this. And Jack knows to get the fuck out. He just runs. He books it. He goes back into the woods. He heads back <laughs> to the treehouse. I like that we can see the previous screenshot in that new screenshot. Yeah, sometimes it happens. You get a little, little two for one. Two for the price of one. Some of these. You take, you're taking them too quickly. Well, it's, you know, this movie moves quickly, Gavin. You got to keep okay. up with it or else you get held past. First meetings are tricky, but often they are worth it because they become friends. She follows them to the treehouse. They're now buds. Uh, Jack is a hockey guy, as previously established. He loves hockey. So when they get him on the ice, they're like, whoa, look at you. You're doing hockey stuff. He's skating around. He's playing in the net. He slap shots the puck. He hits it so hard it goes through the net. That's how good his slap Dang. shot is. Going through the net. So then he's like, you know what? I want to play for the team. So he walks into the facility, throws some gear on, hops over the boards into the ice, grabs the puck, scores a goal, gets out, leaves. Shows up, scores, leaves. Everyone's like, what's going on there? That's fucking crazy. They realize it was a chimp. They're all like, what the hell is that monkey doing on the ice? They're all, they're freaking out. Uh, so then the, all the owners have a meeting because they profit shared. This is a real scene and plot point in the movie. The owners get together. They're like, what should we allow this monkey to play in our league? They all profit share. They're like, oh, people will pay money to see this monkey play hockey. Let's do it. So that's them. They're all agreeing that he could be in the league. It's, he's now a legal player. Everything is above board. Welcome to the team, Jack. Hey, can I just uh, one quick inter intersection? <laughs> of you course. Said we could do that while, while shit's up on the stage. Yep. Uh I, because the audience has already pointed out a few times, and I imagine they're going to point it out over and over again. We we know that a chimpanzee is not a monkey. It's uh, yes. I, I get it. They're, they're not the same thing, but it, no. monkey is just a fun word to say. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Now with Jack joining the Nuggets, the Nuggets go from shit to hit. Hit. Immediately. <laughs> they're going up. They're scoring goals. Jack's hitting people with sticks. They're on papers. He's thumbs up. Oh, everything's great. They're going to the Harvest Cup, which is like the highest uh, achievement you get. It's like their Super Bowl, essentially, for their league or Stanley Cup, if we're within hockey. But what happened to those bad guys? He's all like calling around. People are like, hey, where's Jack? What's going on with Jack? We're going to remove her funding if you can't find Jack. So he's calling, going like, where's my monkey? And he's eating, he's eating stuff. And then he looks at the TV and he sees highlights of Jack playing hockey saying that he's going to be in this tournament. So he's like, ah, oh, there he is. There's my monkey. I'm going to go get him. So he travels to Vancouver, BC, which is where the championship is for the Heritage And this Cup. is all because he doesn't like hepatitis? Uh, this, he was trying to... No, there's no reason. He just wanted money. They're going to pay him money to send mm. him to this facility. <laughs> so he's walking around the arena. Tara walks into him, spills her hot chocolate all over his pants, and then him and his sidekick are like, hey, have you seen my monkey with a wanted poster? And uh, Tara like runs away in fear. And so he chases after her and goes to the team's room and is like, give me the monkey now. And he points at him. They close the door. Um, I think this guy was dressed as a pirate once in Keenan and Kel. <laughs> ah. I'd love to check that. 
<laughs> so quick, they have to make a plan because they're there to steal Jack. So they're going through. They look at the back of Jack's photo. They see the name El Simeon Nature Preserve. They're like, this must be it. This must be his home. So they call the preserve and then Tara gets in a cab and she's going to go help figure things out. She's leaving the arena. They're go, go now. She's go, go nowing <laughs> to get assistance for the future. After all that happens, we go back to the game because it's important. It's the championship match. It's 1-1, 2 minutes, 32 seconds on the clock, third period. It's down to the wire. The Nuggets take a shot, and it stops on the line. I need to drink a water in my throat. And that's not a goal. <sighs> that's not a goal. It hasn't crossed. It stopped directly on the line. So it's a big scramble. The goalie gets all caught up. The goalie's being held down. They're fighting. All the players are fighting. But Jack, he slides for it. He goes right between the legs of the guy. Oh, he's megged him. And he scores. The Nuggets win. The Nuggets <laughs> win the championship. They're all celebrating. Everyone's all happy. It's a huge success. But wait, it was Tara all along. She's what? the one who scored. <laughs> she slid in. And they're like, wait, was Tara? Where's Jack? What happened? Doesn't matter. Party time. We're celebrating. We're celebrating the win. It's a big win. Bad guys lost. But where's Jack? Jack's on a journey. He was the one who got in the cab. They took him to the airport and bought him a ticket to go back to the El Simeon Preserve. So he's riding in. He goes home. He gets driven there. He sees his family. His best friend Darren now works there. Everything's great. He gives him a hug. It's just happy. Everything's all run happy. They win the championship. Everyone's great. He goes home. Darren's there. It is the end of the film. Banana wipe. The end. Oh, oh you did it. Oh, you did it. That was excellent. But wait. Hey. There's more. Where are they now? So I was curious uh, about Jack and who played him in the role. Jack was played by three different uh, chimps. Louis, Bernie, and Mac. Yes. One of them, Bernie. Uh, you see there? Bernie played him, I think, the most for MVP, and I believe also in MVP2. Bernie is now in the Oakland Zoo. Oh. <laughs> he get put on a train? Yeah, he did. He flew. <laughs> That's where he really went. <laughs> he went there. I read in 2010 was the last update I was able to find to Bernie, so I emailed, oh, I emailed the <laughs> Oakland Zoo to confirm he was still a resident there. Uh, they replied saying, yes, he was, and then sent me a bunch of information about how uh, using animals in films is wrong. Uh, so I did not follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Banana wipe! <laughs> the end. What about the other two The other two chimps? I have no idea where they went. Okay. What was the, uh, what was the bad guy's name in the suit? Oh, God. What was it? Is it Peabody, maybe? I don't remember. He's such an insignificant character in the, in the movie. I was trying I to look up the name. cast. To see if he did, in fact, uh, appear in. Uh... Oh, is is that right? Was I right? I think he I was also I in. Uh, I think he worked at a jewelry shop in Friends too. Is his name Doctor Peabody? Maybe that's it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it is Peabody. Okay, let's see. He appeared in. Uh, oh my God, he's been in 115 things. He's been in a lot of stuff. Hey, hey, I, uh, I've seen him as just a miffed Brit in pretty much every American thing he's in. You said Keenan and Kel, right? Yeah. Well, it's not showing up for that. Oh shit! Could be. Oh, wrong. was that? Well, what's that show called? Kel, Keenan, and Kel. No, no. Uh, he played Gavin the waiter. <gasps> he played Gavin the waiter in 1999 in Keenan and Kel. Yeah, yeah. I think he was dressed as a pirate with a parrot on him. He was the British colonel in the Spy Who Shagged Me. Really? Oh, that's oh, where I one, recognize oh. him from. Yeah, I could see that now. Oh, he's in MVP two as well. Oh, he spoiler! He, he plays a different <laughs> really? character. And oh. he's Dr. Peabody in Most Viable Primate and MVP2 Most Vertical Primate, which I did not know what it's called. It's really <laughs> awesome. uh, his name is Mr. Raheja. Interesting. Okay. We'll have to so keep our eye open for him. Yeah, we will. So, yeah. Anyway, I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to get a sidetrack. But no, that's, Andrew, that's that was a phenomenal recitation. I feel, I feel completely and totally versed in the MVP mm -hmm. universe now. And I don't know about you, Gavin, but I was, I was, I was hanging on your every word. I loved it. That was great. And the, and the surprise banana wipe at the end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. I, I got a lot of help in putting that together. Uh, if it was just me, I, it would, it would have definitely been more salad creamed. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. I'm excited to watch this movie. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this will be terrible. <laughs> I don't know if this will be fun. 
I'm hoping it will be fun. I know it starts out great. It has a fantastic opening. It's the only thing I've revisited in recent time. Should we should we start? <laughs> we probably should. This guy is like my new favorite actor. His <laughs> roles, man. He uh I've posted in the check the text chat. <laughs> Was that Darren? Or Peabody? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Mr. Peabody. <laughs> or Doc Dr. Peabody. That's fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, I think that covers uh, MVP one most vertical primate from 2000 in its entirety. If you needed a primer before you watch MVP two, uh, you've got it right there. Thanks for listening to this. Now go ahead and stop. And then uh, if you're brave, hop on into MVP two with us. Most vertical primate. What service is it on so people can watch along? Amazon Prime. Amazon. You can get it on Amazon and Tubi. I was about to say, I have no idea. It sounds like Amazon Prime. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I mean, you just share a screen through Discord. Yeah, I, I clicked the button and it took me here. So You clicked the Discord button for sharing screens? I, cl- I clicked the Discord button for sharing screen and it took me here. <laughs> I don't know why you're mad at me. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting yelled at for yawning. (laughs) All I did was yawn. I'm getting attacked for that. Uh I'm clicking buttons. I'm doing everything I'm I'm supposed to. I'm clicking. You think that you think the thing that absolves you here is that you're clicking buttons? You think that's what I want to hear? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Because you wanted me to share my screen. Wait, why is hey Gavin? Gavin just shared his screen. It was very easy. Oh, congratulations! You on a different computer? I mean, it's so we're able to do a thing that I couldn't do on (laughs) my computer. It's a hundred percent. No, I got a security pop up. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, just, it's Google dead Chrome simple to, to share to your screen. Uh, you can choose to quit Google Chrome app now or do it on your own later. Later. Uh-huh. I don't under, are you, do you not have Discord? You have the, you have the app? Like a browser I'm app? I'm just on their browser. Yeah, I just go in the browser. What? Just Google it. Oh, we're, I don't use the we're app. We're fucked. This isn't like. So we're doing Discord through a browser. Why? The entire time. Why? Why wouldn't, why wouldn't I? Because it's an. Why would I do it any other it's way? It's a, pro, a, a program. Look, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, hey, J- hey, Jeff. Did it take you? <laughs> like when you were doing that, did it take you to a Google Chrome page where you just started oh, nice clicking stream. buttons? No, it didn't do any of those okay. things. Okay. Wait. No. Wait a second. I think it's okay now. I think we can record the screen. Now. Okay. Share your screen. This is so good. Okay, we're gonna entire screen. Uh, Who's Jerry Lee Lewis? What do you mean? Who's Jerry Lee Lewis? I, he's not American. Sure. Gavin's not American. Oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, consider that. My, well, I think I'm sure. Well, he's he dead. Is. He's famous for marrying his. Oh, uh, no, really? No, no, Jerry. No, Jerry Lewis is not dead. Are you talking Jerry, about Jerry Lee Lewis or Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis? Lewis? Jerry Lee Lewis is not dead. Oh. A bunch of reports came out saying he died. He is not dead. He's famous for marrying his 14-year-old cousin. <laughs> He's not famous for marrying his cousin. He is famous and he married his cousin. But not dead? No, uh, he's not dead. No, it came out yesterday. A bunch of people reported that he's dead. He's like 88 or 89. He's old. It just popped up on my watch. Dead at no. 87. No, wait. Hang on. Did No, he didn't act. He he's actually died? Is he, is Jerry Lee Lewis died? Did he just die? I mean, it just popped up I on my watch. I just yesterday. <laughs> I mean, one day ago... Entertainment Weekly, one day ago, Jerry Lee Lewis is alive after being erroneously reported dead at 87. Is he That'd dead? That'd be annoying to die the next day after that. He it's, cannot uh, It's not on CNN. That happened with the Queen, right? There are fake reports that they were like, ah, oh, she's dead. And they're like, no, she's not dead. She's fine. And Wikipedia she's says he's alive. No, Wikipedia says he's dead. And TMZ is reporting oh, now that yeah, Jerry Lee no, Lewis he's is dead, dead he's at 87. Dead. Okay, what are the chances? Is- we weren't even going to give him socks. I mean, hi, he's uh, Gavin. Do you remember? Have you ever heard that song? Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Oh yeah, I've heard that. That's yeah. Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh. I tweeted that yesterday. Oh, after the you thing, did just because I thought it was funny. Yeah, you tweeted that people wouldn't have context. All I did was tweet great balls of fire, the video for yeah. it, because he was reported dead. No, because he no put because icy my hot. balls were on yes. fire. Oh. <laughs> oh, and then you so you killed him. I you guess killed oh Jerry. God. I didn't have anything Heck, to do with that. Holy shit! We <laughs> Andrew killed Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, um, Andrew's live. Okay, uh, I've been live so the whole time. D- Jeff, go ahead and intro it, and then we'll okay, go from there. Are you ready? Am I recording? Your your doc. If is how are you? a nightmare. I just, I wanted, 
I just want to make sure. All right. Is it now? I'm going to wait for Andrew to say he's recording and good. I'm recording. Yeah, I'm good. Seven okay. minutes in. Are you, oh. Were you streaming to us at the highest quality? I don't know what that means. How would I check that? Because oh. you get to pick like the resolution. Oh, that stream you stream settings. Oh. I can change. How many window. bits do you have? Are you going to blow through all your bits? Uh, no, my bits are good. <laughs> my bits are secure. Uh, I don't know how I would change that setting, Gavin. How does it look? You look for me. Tell me how it looks. It looks a bit blurry. There's one setting that says smoother frame rate, and the other one says like more readable text. So I want it like yours doesn't have that. No. I hate. I hate it's probably because he's, he's browser. Browser. using a browser version. Jesus Christ. Of all of the apps on your dock, of all of those, none of them are Discord. <laughs> 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 no. Why would I download it when I can just Google it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what all these are. <laughs> I'll tell you what they aren't.